Former Ethereum developer Virgil Griffith sentenced to over five years in prison after pleading guilty to one count of conspiracy to violate international sanctions against North Korea for giving a talk on crypto during a conference in Pyongyang in 2019. Sitting in the courtroom this morning was Coindesk U.S. regulatory reporter Cheyenne Lingun. She joins us now. Hello there, Cheyenne. So perhaps we could start off with, you can remind our viewers what Virgil's crime was that he pleaded guilty to. Yeah, so Virgil pleaded guilty last September to one count of conspiracy to violate international sanctions against North Korea. Um, and that obviously, as you just said, relates to a trip that he took in April 2019 uh, to Pyongyang, where he gave a talk on blockchain technology and crypto. And so walk us, set the scene for us uh, in the courtroom. Um, what was what was the sentence? How was Virgil taking the news? So what was the mood in the courtroom? Yeah, so I would say the mood was pretty somber. Uh, the last time I was there, he had to phone in um, from MDC in Brooklyn where he was being held. Um, but today he got to come into the court. And from what I understand, it was the first time he's seen his parents in nearly a year. Um, so he was he definitely seemed happy to see his parents and his friends. Um, and his attorneys got to talk to the judge about some mitigating factors about his life and his conditions in jail. Um, and then the government got to speak and the judge ultimately decided to hand down a sentence of 63 months, which is five years and three months um, with credit for time served. So he's already served 10 months in jail, which they'll take off his sentence, but that means he has four and a half years left to go. That's interesting because he's actually been in jail for two years. So why only count 10 months? So he's he's been in and out of custody for two years. Um, he was out on bail for a while, but because he broke conditions of bail by directing his mom to take money out of his Coinbase account, apparently to pay his lawyers, from what I understand, that was a violation of his bail conditions. So he had to go back to jail. So he's only served 10 months in prison physically. And you mentioned he had friends there. Did did he get to talk to his parents? Did he talk to his friends? And of course, he was a very powerful figure in the Ethereum Foundation. According to a book by Laura Shen, The Cryptopians, he was one of the top five most powerful uh, people there and was the chaotic neutral presence in, in the group. So who, who was in the court? Like, did he get to talk to them? Uh, from what I saw, I don't think he got to speak to anybody, um, but he was able to kind of look around the courtroom, which again, from what I understand, is kind of the most interaction he's had in a while. Because of the pandemic, there were lockdowns in MDC, and apparently he had difficulties even meeting with his lawyers. Um, so this might have been the first time that he's seen people in a very long time. Um, yeah, I don't. I didn't recognize anybody today, but last time there were definitely people from the Ethereum Foundation who came to what was supposed to be the first day of his trial when he ended up pleading guilty. Mm -hmm. And what was the judge's attitude toward Virgil? And in terms of sentencing, was this more on the harsher side or lenient side? So the prosecution, after the plea deal, the prosecution recommended a range of 63 to 78 months. So you could say this is on the more lenient end of that range. It's also what the probation department recommended was a 63-month sentence. So the judge definitely stuck within the parameters that were set in the plea agreement. He could have sentenced Virgil up to 20 years in prison. Um, the defense asked for 24 months with credit for time served, and that sort of seemed unlikely the whole time. So the sentence is in line with what we expected. However, I would say he seemed he seemed upset about Virgil's crime um, and, and had some harsh words for him. Yeah, I, I think I saw on Twitter some of the harsh words. Like, what did the judge say exactly? Oh, um, well, so apparently Virgil has been diagnosed with having obsessive compulsive personality disorder and narcissistic personality disorder. Um, the judge said that he, he offered to work with the government both before and after his trip to North Korea, which the defense kind of held up as evidence of his cooperative and kind of generous nature. And the, the judge did not see it that way. He said that he seemed like a person who was willing to play both sides as long as he stayed the center of attention. Um, he also said that he thought Virgil was trying to become a crypto hero for his actions. Um, 
Yeah.